are the Super Bowl Eagles back? You see the flag, <laughs> baby? Listen, Odd Show. Talk to me. See, I was happy to come to work today. I like to be right. Of course. Right? And we sat on this table with all my teammates. Okay, I, love, I love y'all. Y'all my teammates. We love you too, Shady. And, and, and one, two, three, <laughs> told the world and myself <laughs> that the Dolphins was going to beat the Eagles? That did happen. Now, do you remember what I said to you? What'd you say? It won't be close. Ooh. I thought it will not be close. Ooh. When you're bringing a team like that to Philadelphia, right, mm. the game that Jalen Hurts had against the Jets wasn't good enough. I knew he was going to respond, mm -hmm. and that's, that's the way he responded. Not only himself, the whole team. We look forward to this matchup. Come on now. See, you can't get happy about beating a team like the, the Washington Commanders. Yeah. Right? Even some division game, you can't get hype about that. Who else we beat? We beat the, uh, I'm having a brain freeze. Vikings. The, Vikings. The, the, Vikings the, 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 the Patriots. You can't get happy about that. Yeah. But you can. The Bucks. Get happy and excited when you beat a team like a 70 points Dolphin Ooh. team. Woo! The most exciting offense we've seen in years. Years. Dolphins team. No doubt about right? it. Right? A top 10 wide receiver of all time, dead or alive, Tyreek Hill, Dolphin team. Mm -hmm. A Tua, accurate quarterback, Dolphins team. Yes, sir, you preaching. You bring them boys to the Philadelphia, man. What happened? And we showed you what we do. Uh. We gave out crazy work, and we sent the boys back to 305 with a loss. Yeah. Mm. So next time y'all want to question the Eagles or question <laughs> Jalen Hurts, are we this, are we that? Who's he know who I'm talking to. Uh. She know who I'm talking <laughs> to. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> y'all talking about my boys have some respect. Mm. You feel me? I feel you. Big oh, win, yes. big W. Mm. And who's the best team in football? Y'all gonna say it with me. Y'all gonna say it with me. When we, when we beat the Pats on it, oh, we're not playing like a, a championship team. Cool, you right. Yes, sir. So bring a championship team over here. Is it the Dolphins? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you again. Are we a championship best team in football right now? Mm. Shady, I mean, uh, I'll probably give you the answer when he do his thing. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Joy Taylor, are the Super Bowl Eagles back? I don't think they ever left. Mm. Sorry, now, I, had to give you, I had to give you a prop, Joe. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't think they ever left. Mm. Uh, now, I'm going to eat my crow in the Dolphins today, so don't worry. It's just still in the pot, stewing, and needs a few extra <laughs> seasonings. We'll get to it in a second. But I've been talking about the Eagles highly all season, despite the way that Jalen Hurts has looked, despite the fact that they didn't have any of those quote-unquote impressive wins. I don't think that they left, because I think this is how the Eagles are. They win however they need to win. If they need to blow you out that night, that's what they're going to do. Right. If they're going to show up defensively like they did last night, that's what they're going to do. If they're going to overcome a bad performance like they just did, that's what they're going to do. That's right. The Eagles are about winning, which is why I never get too concerned about what's happening there. Now, they're worse. It wasn't a clean game. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to see a clean game from Jalen Hurts. But as far as them being capable of getting to a Super Bowl, I don't really see the difference between last year and this year. Ooh. They're at the top of the NFC. They just beat a real, the, the best offense in the league. They made look incapable. Yes, of course, they're, they're Super Bowl-level Eagles, and I don't think they ever left. Mm, James Jones, Super Bowl Eagles back. Um, last night, they looked like it. Doc. This season, no. But last night, it, they looked like the, the Super Bowl contender Eagles that we were used to seeing last year yeah. consistently, right? This was a team last year that every time they stepped on the field, it was a consistent beatdown. Whether it was close or whatever, they played consistent football on both sides of the ball. Last night was the closest that they have been to looking like the Eagles of last year, mm -hmm. right? And even with that being said, they still turned the ball over twice and still beat down a really good Miami Dolphins team, which we all think. That's why we took the Dolphins up here because we thought they are a really good football team. And they turned the ball over twice, not as clean on the offensive side of the ball, and still dominated that, that football game. So this was their most complete game of the year for the Philadelphia Eagles from top to bottom when you talk about putting it all together. And this is what we, we've been wanting to see. They have not played like this all season, right? Whether you, and you could talk opponent, you could talk playing down to your competition, you could talk any of that, but they have not looked like this. Even the energy and everything last night, you could tell that they was out there to make a statement like, we heard James Jones. No, not James Jones. We heard Acho uh, <laughs> saying the Dolphins was going to win this game and Acho played for the Eagles. See, James didn't play for the Eagles. Acho played for the Eagles and picked the Dolphins. They heard hey, thanks, you. Thanks, James. And they came out. I appreciate that. We played well last night. We appreciate yeah, that. Thank you, know, you and they came out. They came out to play well. Okay, how impressive was it, though, 2-5? Because from where I sit, the fact that the Eagles won was incredibly impressive. Mm -hmm. When I looked at the performance in and of itself, I wasn't that blown away. I wasn't that blown away yeah. by Jalen Hurts. I wasn't that blown away by DeAndre Swift. I wasn't that blown away by really anybody besides A.J. Brown. I wasn't that blown away. Hassan Reddick, beast. Ooh, Josh crazy. Beast. Blown away by those two. What blew me away, though, Shady, was the fact that they won. 
They beat a Dolphins team that only has one loss. That is what was impressive to me. Not how the Eagles looked. Hurts didn't look that great to me. He looked good. He didn't look great to me. The Eagles offense, they looked good. They didn't look great to me. The Eagles defense, they are getting better. But the fact that they won, that is what was most impressive to me, regardless of the intricacies of the performances in and of themselves. How impressive was the win to you? It was great to me. Great performance to me. I mean, just a couple weeks ago, you guys, you guys were telling me how the Dolphins was the best team in football. Mm -hmm. You guys told me how the, the Dolphins was the most exciting team in football. Now when we beat them, it, it can't be, oh, wasn't that impressive. I mean, see, my thing is this. Football is, uh, is a competitive sport, right? And, and the NFL is the elite versus the elite. So technically, it really shouldn't be no blowouts. Yeah. We dominated that game last mm -hmm. night. You did. Right? On both sides of the ball. I mean, think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. No team in the NFL could have stopped that, that, that um, Dolphins offense, right? We had the lowest in yards and, 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 and uh, uh, yards and points last, last game. That doesn't happen easily. Mm -hmm. You got to go in there and demand and take that. That's what we did on offense. The, uh, Jalen Hurts, he did have two turnovers. I think the fumble was, was his, you know, deepest made a play. But the pick, things like that happens. You know, guys get a hand on the, on the ball, whatever, it's a pick. But then how do you respond to that, right? Because when Jalen Hurts had, had a fumble, we came and responded on defense, and we got a turnover. And we kept rolling, rolling, rolling. So I just think that when you ask about, uh, are you impressed? Yeah. One of them is the, the resume of the team we played. The Dolphins are a really, really good team. A lot of people would say that this team was, is probably one of the best in the AFC. Yeah. Top three at least. Yeah. And we dominate this team. So <laughs> say what you want, man. I mean, we didn't have a career day as far as yards and stats, but we dominated. That's the only thing that matters in football. Yeah. I, I think it should be scary that they turned the ball over like that twice and had a pick six and they still won the way that they did. It has to be an impressive. They, they, Shady just said how great the Dolphins have been. They put up 70 points on a, an NFL team. Mm -hmm. An NFL team that won, by the way, yesterday. All right, all right. What? They won. Right. It's an NFL team. Right. Shady just said it. There shouldn't be no blowouts. You definitely shouldn't be putting up Literally. 70 points, and it only ever happened that close one other time. Like, that's the same team. Yes, it was against a bad team, but 70 I'm just saying, bleeping Russell, points. I'm like, for them to... Yeah, uh, fine, <laughs> fine. They're still all professionals. They're still all professionals. It was, it's a very, very impressive win. Not just that it was a blowout, but what they did to that offense and that they were able to overcome two turnovers, yeah. which usually means you are not winning the game, right. and still blew them out. Yes, they took advantage of some deficiencies that the, that the defense had. Miami is also injured right now, but that doesn't matter. You're out there and you play who you play with. Miami played a – not only that, they made Miami play a very sloppy game. All those penalties, mm -hmm. you, you, it was physical. It was how Philadelphia wins at a high level. So it has to be a very impressive win. And, and real quick before you go, go like, the, defending Waddle and Tyree Hill, you know how hard that is? And I didn't see no issues. Tyree beat us on, on, on the – You didn't see no issues? I didn't – hold up. Well, I don't much, got hurt, too. Let me say this. As, as much <laughs> issues we had in the secondary, right, with the Eagles, yep. right, that everybody complained about. And when I watched the game, I, oh, wow. We, mm. we, answer, we answered the question. We did. You know how hard it is like, to, to contain them two speedsters? Yeah. Shady, they got busy. Yeah. We shut. We, what's busy? Y'all mean they combined look? for 17 catches on 140 yards. They scored 17 points. Or well, I, and Waddle didn't even play the, the whole up. game, though. Is the game to score more points than the other team or not? They, had, they had 17 points? That ain't the dog's team I know. That ain't a 70 of point not. Dolphins I, team, I know. I, I, I take issue with hearing that the Eagles just beat the Dolphins yeah. down. That's they stopped, the only they, thing I take they, issue with. They stopped the run. I watched the Dolphins. They did. With all their speed, everybody talks about They run up and down the field. Whoop, run, pass, wherever it may be. Wide yeah. receivers, running backs. We shut the run down. That's done. Coach, no more runs. This is over with. <laughs> then we throw the passes. I mean, other than that deep pass to Hill, I mean, we did pretty good. Well, first off, Waddle checked out of that game early with a back injury, came back and tried to try that's to they, play yeah, that's the what game they said. That's what they said. And, and had a good game. But back to the question, <laughs> was this Eagles victory impressive? Absolutely. One thing, that, go, I pay, go, one thing that I paid attention to um, when I wasn't sleeping in meetings, um, <laughs> <laughs> when the head coach got up there was, if you do not win the turnover battle, you're not going to win the game. And usually that holds up to be true. Yeah. To turn the football over twice and even give up a touchdown, if we all was up here right now saying, hey, man, Dolphins going to score on defense and strip J Jalen Hurts, we would have said Dolphins going to win this game by 20, right? So this is impressive because this is signs of a very good football team that you turn the ball over twice and give up a touchdown on, uh, to the defense on offense and you still find a way to really dominate this game. 
win this game by two scores against a really good offense, a really good team in the Miami Dolphins. So for me, it was impressive from that standpoint because not a lot of teams can do that. You're right. We probably can, can't even count on our hand of how many teams could come back from turning the ball over two times against a good football team. You may do that against a bad football team, but against a good football team and still turn around and win that game by two scores and dominate that game. It was impressive by the Eagles last night. Well done. You really feel like the Dolphins got dominated. I do. I do, too. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And, 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 and I'm going to say this on the record right now. Tyreek Hill, dead or alive, is the top ten receiver of all time. It's not close. I won't argue with that. I won't argue. Some people would. Uh, of course. Top ten, yeah. Oh, top of course ten. And, and listen, ten. Might and, not, I, and I'm ready to put him in that top five. If you keep playing, that's with where him. you should have went. Okay, let's focus on the Dolphins for a second, then, because the Dolphins they have won five games, yeah. but the teams they have beat: Patriots, who have two wins; yeah. Panthers, who have no wins; Giants, who have two wins; Broncos, who have two wins; and the Chargers, who have two wins. But the teams they have lost to, the Buffalo Bills, 4-3, and three, they lost by 28. The Eagles, 6-1, and one, they lost by 14. 16. And it could have been 21 if Nick Sirianni didn't call off the dogs true. at the end of the That's game. Y'all are looking at the full screen. So my question here, Ooh. though, is I would ask this question to any team I didn't have an affinity for, so I have to remove my affinity for the Dolphins and ask you anyway, Joy. Are the Dolphins fools gold? Because in their wins Ooh. versus bad teams, plus 95-point differential. But in their losses versus good teams, minus 42-point differential. I have to be objective and do my job in asking the question, are the Dolphins fools gold? No, but I think when you look at those stats, you have to argue that they're good, not great yet. Because <coughs> good teams beat the teams you're supposed to beat mm -hmm. and beat them down, which they do. But great teams beat teams that are hard to beat. Right. And they're not only losing to those teams that are great, they're losing badly. They right. lost badly to the Bills. They looked terrible last night against the Eagles. All of these penalties, no run game, no adjustment for the run game being shut down. It, it, it didn't look like Dolphins football. And on top of that, you got aid from a defense that is struggling. Like, they got a pick six for you. Yeah. You, and that's not even how the Dolphins win games. They don't win games defensively. They just make it rain. And you weren't able to do that. So, to me, I, I'm very concerned about the defensive side of the ball, which we were already concerned about. They are banged up. So, when they get back to full strength, hopefully that will look differently. But we just don't know that yet. We know what the offense is capable of. My question is, when you run into a physical team like the Bills, mm. like the Eagles, are you able to adjust, particularly on the road? Because both of those losses were also on the road. Mm -hmm. So are you just going to take advantage of being at home? We have to see that later on in the season. But that is my question about the Dolphins. They are a good team. It's not debatable. They've beaten the teams they're supposed to be. But they're losing badly to teams that we know are established and have made it to the postseason and won in the postseason in the Bills and the Eagles. And that's what's concerning to me. Yeah, James, the Dolphins, I just desperately wish they would beat somebody good. Yeah. They, got, they got the opportunity to, in two weeks, they play the Chiefs. Mm. But then they don't play another surefire playoff team until week 16 when you got the Cowboys, then you got the Bills, and you end the season fire, fire, fire. I, I won't say that they are fool's gold, but they do have to beat somebody yeah. good. Yes, they are injured. Everybody and their mom is injured. The, the Eagles are injured. Eagles' whole secondary hurt. Safety, safety, nickelback, all of them hurt. So, yes, they are injured, but I desperately need the Dolphins to beat a good team or at least play them close. <laughs> play them close. Yeah. Like, like, you can't lose to the Bills by 28, then lose to the Eagles by 14. Could have been 21. Like, play them yeah. close. That's my only issue. Where you stand? Fool's gold? <clears throat> no, not, not fool's gold, because at the end of the day, this is why I love football, because then nobody picked the Patriots to win, mm. right? And they, and they won, right? It's hard to win. It is hard to win in the National Football League. No, no matter how you slice it, no matter who on your schedule, it is hard to win. It's so many teams we can pull up their strength to schedule and say, this is why they got a couple wins. You know what I'm saying? So for me, yes, they have not beat the Buffalo Bills or beat the Philadelphia Eagles teams with winning records, but they're not fool's gold. I think this is a good football team. You went up against the best receiver core in the National Football League with two really good number one wide receivers without two of your all-pro corners. I don't even know who was out there for the Dolphins playing corner, right? So you... It was over before it started when you talked about it. If you had A.J. Brown in fantasy, even if you picked the Dolphins to win, he was in. <laughs> you, you, thought, you thought he was going ball. So this, this was a tough uphill battle for them anyway on the offensive side of the ball. So for me, I mean, for the, on the defensive side of the ball, but for me, I think this is a really good team. They are going to get healthy. I think they will find ways to beat those good teams. But it just shows you, really, number one, that the Eagles is a really, really good football team, and the Dolphins got a little way to go. Yeah, I mean, like, it's the same thing of, like, a... I mean, I know you've dated before, and like, and and she's great, right? Mm -hmm. But 
It's, it's not her. It's, not it's her. me. <laughs> so, babe, it's not your fault. It's me. What you doing? Right? What you so what I'm saying is, <laughs> the Dolphins are a really, really good team. It's what? not y'all. It's, it's, it's the Eagles. It's us. Okay. So when we're asking, is this team right. fools? Oh, no, they're a good oh, team. Damn. It's just getting with us is different yeah. and difficult. And you've seen that. And A.J. Brown is a beast. Yes, oh, my. Is. Listen, you can't guard him. Mm. Can't tackle him. What can you do with him? Mm. He got more, he got traded from the, the Titans. Yep. He has more yards than everybody on the Titans combined. Come on. He probably is. AJ, keep balling, baby. More yards than a lot of It's teams. not film. It's us. Shady, you did say that's your breakup <laughs> advice, right? Like that's, that's how that. I break up. It, it, it depends. You know, nine times out of ten is my Punch fault. Me, I'm listening. And I say, he said nine times deep breath, it's right? My fault. Mm -hmm. <sighs> For her or you? Baby, it's, <laughs> it's not you. Do you get a tear out? Or I'm not that good at acting. Ah, but I'm saying Hollywood, it's man. not you. It's me. Actually, I think that's respectable, Shay. It's, it's, I'm a respectable man. At, at, least, at least you're having a conversation. <laughs> it's not a completely honest conversation, yeah. but at least it is yeah. a conversation. I'm not going to text message or email. I'm not going to yeah. do that. I'm going to be respectful. Yeah. You know Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.